Hey traders, this is a quick video on the two best indicators you can use to improve your trading and become successful. All right. So uh, as a precursor, uh, every day at uh, the New York Fix, which uh, is five o'clock New York time, uh, the ATR changes and uh, I send out alerts for the following day. All right. That might be t tonight in London, Asian market, whatever. All right. Try to find four of them. And uh, so I thought I'd do is I go through the process and showing you uh, why I picked these and show you how the two indicators I use give me a high probability trade. All right. So the first one I sent out was here on the GJ. All right. And uh, GJ is right here. And, uh, you know, we're going up. By the way, the dollar is going down right now. And uh, you can see that we have a sideways move right in here. There's a sideways move there. And uh, that's indicative of a continuation. All right. So that looks like this right here. All right? So you can see there. All right. So uh, that's always a continuation pattern. All right. Now, what's the indicator I'm using? I'm using an ATR up here. OK, now. Uh, we have an ATR. Uh, we, we got a whole, we have a very fantastic, um, big, big uh, product that uh, uses the ATR. But it actually comes off of MT4 for us. And so you can put an ATR and MT4. You can also put an MT4 and ATR on Thinkorswim, on TradingView. Anything has got an ATR. Now, you're going to have to extrapolate the information, okay? But when you use an ATR, the uh, ATR uh, time frame that you're using is a 14 day. So you would put a 14 day period on your ATR and you'll get a little line down in here that will help you see it. And on the right hand side, it'll tell you the number, all right? That number, for instance, here on the pound yen is 113 all right so 113 is the atr target for today all right that's this target right up there 113 pips let me just prove it to you i'll pull this open you can see 113 pips is the target all right now it's important to understand that the atr uh, its function is to show you what the day chart uh, uh candle is going to look like tomorrow at this same time all right. So all you got to do is go back here in the past and look right over here. You can see uh, right here is where it started. All right. In fact, let's just do it here. All right. So I'm going to put the uh, ATR here. This is the five o'clock candle from yesterday. All right. So remember the the day chart is the high low. So after the New York fix, we put the low in for the day, which is right here. All right. And we go up for 113 pips, 113. And you can see where did they go? 113 pips and they actually went to the very next target all right so you see it works okay so this is the opportunity right in here it's a big wide open space as you can see it's about 113 pips so it's a good opportunity right there and uh what the good news is you know it ahead of time all right so i've identified a great reward trade all right and it's also going to be a good risk uh, reward trade because uh, this is going to be your risk right here when you take the trade here uh, above here right there take the trade above here here's my risk and here's my potential reward so you can see it's a big reward for very little risk one to four basically all right so what tells me that i should look for this trade that's the macd all right. Now, the MACD on your charts uh, will be about 66% right, which is not bad, all right, because you have to trade at a level of 65% um, uh, success rate in order to be sustainable. So 66% obviously gets you there. Now, in our charts, we have different settings and different ways to look at it. So we have 82%, which is significantly higher. But it doesn't matter. You can still do it on, uh, eight, on MT4 or TradingView or whatever, all right? So MACD, always think of MACD as it points the way. Which way is it pointing up? Once you have a zero line break right here, all right, it's 82% going to go in that direction on our charts. And yours is 66, still pretty good. All right. So MACD tells me that indicator says we're trying to go up and we have sustainable power to do so. This says here's your opportunity. All right. Now you can assess risk for reward. Remember, you can't assess risk reward unless you know the target. All right. If you don't know the reward, which is if it goes up 10 pips, I'm getting out, man. That's not risk reward. That's gambling. That's not trading. All right. So we know the day chart candle right here 
before it happens. That's the key here. All right. What will that do for your trading? Let's take a look at the next one I did. I sent out the pound dollar also. All right. Let's go take a look at that chart. All right. So you can see once again, they did it here. I'll just prove it to you. All right. So here's the ATR 176 pips. OK, so from yesterday, we went down here. We find the five o'clock candle, uh, 1600 right there. A new low was put in after that. We're going up for 76 pips, 76 pips. Where did they go? Right to 76 pips. And then he went to the next target again also. All right. Now that was known yesterday at five o'clock before it happened. So right now, what am I looking at? I'm looking at where is it today before it happens. All right. So where I know where that is. It's up here, 2282. We'd actually hold for the 2288 1000 fib up there. All right. So this is going to be, all right, if it goes directionally, that will be the day chart candle tomorrow. All right. I know that today. That's before it happens. There's the opportunity. What does MACD say? It points the way. Those two indicators right there will dramatically increase your success rate if you'll learn price action and learn how to stay in there and how to press your winners inside that move. All right, so uh, so pound dollar had an ATR of 76 pips right there. All right, so there you go. All right, uh, let's go over to the next one. I sent uh, Euro Aussie out. All right, so Euro Aussie was alert tonight for this opportunity here. Now, why would I be confident in doing that? Well, because the currency does it day in and day out. All right. And I know what it's going to try to do. All right. Now, it could get a fundy in the middle of it or somebody could hiccup and it could go all kinds of stuff. But if everything stays true, it's going to try to put a day chart candle down here. All right. So that target on uh, Euro Aussie, let me go get it here. And Euro Aussie, one more right here. Right there, your Aussie, 123 pip ATR. All right, I'll show you. That's what this is. 123 pips, 123. See that? All right. So the ATR target for 24 hours from now, which is right here. All right. So the indicator tells me where the opportunity is. It is here, right there. And you would hold for this one. As you saw in the first two, they went to the next target. So you hold, move your stop here and hold for this target right here. All right. So we know that that's where the currency is trying to go. And MACD, the other indicator that's important, tells you you are a seller and you have a, in your case, 66% chance of making it. Well, I have an 82. All right. And the final one that I sent out today was the uh, pound Aussie. So we'll take a look at that. All right. And there's the pound Aussie. All right. So big wide open space down here, nothing in it basically at all. Big wide open space. Okay, the ATR is right here. We pull the pound Aussie up here. Pound Aussie, 128 pip ATR, just to prove it to you. I'll click on here and you can see the limit is 128 pips. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for right there. You can see yesterday what I do, 128 pips. What's it going to do? 128 pips. It's got a little flag pattern, which is a continuation pattern. Now, if you've studied those, you know that however you came into this is how you're coming out of this. All right. So they have an even more reason for that to be a great opportunity. All right. So ATR tells you what the current candle is going to be tomorrow right there. And MACD tells you you are a seller. All right. So what does this make it? High probability opportunity. All right. That's what it tells you. So uh, remember, you can put it on any any chart. There's an ATR is available as an indicator on any chart. Put it on there. You got to do all this work up here. Remember to set it for a 14 day period. You got to do all this work if you want to. All right. Uh, we want to because we want to know where the next target is the next target viable. So, for instance, on this pound Aussie here, it does 128, but its 90 day uh, average is 148. So it does 20 pips further. All right. So could it go down here maybe to that 180? Uh, one, 8800 8, 8, it could all right see all right hope that helps you talk to you later have a great day everybody